Hi there, it's Galen, design team member with Unity Stamp Company. Today I have a card with grapes. It's going to be a get well or sympathy card or something for support. And it's with grapes and heat embossing and watercolor. For the stamping, I'm using a stamp by Unity called The Vine and it's designed by Gracielli Design. It's beautiful, it's got this one large grape vine stamp and I'm using also a smaller sentiment from that kit. I use Ranger um, gold embossing powder, super fine, and I place that, um, I place the stamps and the die sort of as a sample to know where, where I want this cut to be after I get finished with the coloring. And so I place um, the stamping onto watercolor paper into the original Misty. I um, prepared it with an anti-static powder tool before I added the stamping. And now I'm using Versa, Versamark ink for the stamping and the gold embossing powder. And then I heat set that so I stamp the sentiment and the grapes all at the same time. And so for the paper I'm using TCW Ken Oliver watercolor paper. And for the brushes I'm using, for the watercolor brushes it's Zig clean color real brush pens or markers and so these particular markers that I'm using are juicy enough to go ahead and add the color right onto the paper and then come back with a damp brush and blend out that color. Now some of your colors may be a little dry so you can use them and just um, mark up a palette mat and then pick up a wet brush into that color and then add it onto the paper. So it depends on uh, you know your brushes and how they're, how they're holding up and if they're staying wet enough. So I added a light green and then I, add, I came back with a dark green and just tiny spots to pick up and make it a little bit of depth. And then I use that damp brush to blend those out for the leaves. I'll do the same for the grapes. I add a light very light lavender shade first on the grapes, each grape. And I do that direct to paper because these particular markers, in my case, um, the ones I'm using now are juicy enough to go ahead and allow enough time to color in that light color before adding the water. And so I, I felt like it was staying wet enough, so I went ahead and, and added a little bit of darker purple as an accent where there might be shadow shadows or darker areas of the grape so I do that for each grape and then I'll come back with a damp brush I dip it in water and then on I dab it onto a paper towel so it's not too saturated with water and then I blend out each of those grapes blend that darker purple into the lighter purple, but not all the way, just partially. And some of the lighter purple would look more of like a highlight and the darker would be like a shadow. And so um, using watercolor with heat embossing helps keep the water in place and the color in place without moving too much outside the stamp area, which I love. And so that is an easy way to watercolor. I would recommend if you're new to watercoloring, start with heat embossing and then add watercolor. But it's not necessary to heat emboss. You can just stamp with a black or brown or whatever color you like, as long as it's uh, watercolor friendly and it won't, and it won't bleed out um, as far as the ink goes. So, and then I heat set once I was satisfied with the coloring. Now I place, um, Stand, uh, dies by my creative time. I place the dies through my die cutting machine and cut out that offset corner border that I'm going to use. And I have uh, excess decorative paper by basic gray left over and I use that for the background. And then I just add adhesive gems to finish off this card. It's real easy to do. It's simple and it's it's a nice card for support for someone. I hope you like this. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Have a great day.